We're going to use my block now. So if you go down to the very bottom, the red one, my block, and we're going to take our program here. This is the program that should run through the disaster site. You, you can quickly eyeball it and see this first part here is just setting it up. And then starting here is when we begin to have the code. So it starts moving forward and then it sees the wall, it stops moving and it turns right and then it starts moving again, right? Until red, which is the, the site, the part we can't go into. And then it stops moving, it turns right, it goes forward until using the distance sensor to be exactly in from the block and it turns over and pushes the block into green. It stops moving and then it drives forward all the way to the other side where it turns. So let's just break this down into its parts. Make a block. The first part is going to be um, drive to wall and turn. Okay, so save that. And let's define it. So we're going to take this out here and we're gonna take that down. So this drives to the wall and when it sees the wall, it stops and it turns. So pop that there. So there's your first one. All right, now let's take it forward. So now our next block is gonna be drive to red zone and turn. Let's define that. So start moving forward, red and turn. There you go. And you keep doing this through all of the sections. Yours will look different than mine. You can also choose where to break them up. The nice thing about this, when you're done, you'll just have a nice set of codes and each part that you want to debug, you can just go right into there rather than reading through the whole thing. This is also a best practice. And as we get forward into the units, you'll have to start doing this to make different parts because you might have an if then, if you're going into an area, you don't know which set of programs to do. So it's like an if that's blue, then you might do this one. And if it's red, you might do this one, depending on um, the set of circumstances the robot finds itself in. So this is going to be a best practice. Oh yeah, and don't forget to end with stop and exit program. Obviously it doesn't go there. It's gonna go down here after the thing is whole, all done.